My name is Tomasz Gregorich and uh, I'm representing uh, company Spinner from Slovenia. I will present you a major product, uh, which is a training system improving safety at sea and ports based on past accidents and incidents. I will actually just introduce the major uh, product and present uh, you its background and uh, features. Uh, then I will get the floor to my uh, colleague, uh, colleague Captain Heike Koivisto, who will present the product from the user's perspective. Uh, the product is available at Major.pro website, uh, but some offline documentation should be used as well. So, uh, the product was developed uh, with the European <coughs> Union support uh, under the lifelong learning program, and our company was involved uh, as an IT partner <coughs> the consortium of uh, six small partners having a lot of experience in uh, MET. Uh, let me now explain the reasons uh, why MADER product was actually developed. So according to IMO, 80% of uh, accidents at sea are caused by human error. And it is now believed that the majority of human errors could have been prevented by adopting a more human-oriented approach. Appropriate <coughs> training is crucial in uh, this respect. In the first place, uh, accident, incident and uh, near-miss reports have been studied with a view to develop scenarios on various emergency situations based on real cases where an um, accident has taken place or an incident has been reported as well as scenarios for a whole range of uh, near misses. Then some representative cases from a vast number of them have been chosen and the training scenarios based on past accidents, incidents or near misses have been actually developed. So, uh, MADER concerns those aspects of human error related to emergency situations which can be corrected through removal of existing deficiencies in MET of uh, dead officers as well as those working on board vessels as officers of uh, various ranks. Uh, as I said before, MADER is based on scenarios and these scenarios are enabling uh, ME providers to train uh, cadets and officers to improve uh, their skill set and prevent similar accidents and incidents from happening in the future. Each scenario available at major products supports the whole training process that is briefing, practice, uh, full mission simulator, selfie assessment, debriefing, etc. MET providers uh, may run in, in it in full mission simulator environment and in the additional e-learning environment as well. Now I will get the floor uh, to my colleague, Captain Aiken Parvisto, uh, who will present uh, the major product also from the uh, user's perspective. So, Heike Koivisto from Santa Cruz University of Applied Sciences, Finland. We were very happy when uh, this minor project contacted us and asked that we would like to take this in, in, in the test use and give some comments. So, normally, with, if our good friends from Seagull, for example, they are asking, they are sending some small invoice after, after the testing. But the, uh, it's, it's very reasonable, yes, it's good. And they have good products, as, as I was saying. But it's, so it's, a, it's like a Christmas present when you get, as a teacher, this kind of material to use. And we will now uh, demonstrate one, one case, the short, short case uh, in Finland. It's, it's been all the time so that the, uh, the present hours of teacher and the students are, are getting lower and lower. So you had to give more and more. Well, that tune was rather well, 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 Please start. The Neptune was row row vessel navigating from United Kingdom to Middle East. As part of her voyage he was following the Dover traffic separation scheme. 
Costa Atlantica was a cruise ship navigating from Mediterranean to Caribbean. The last voyage was from La Havre to Harwich in which she was following and crossing the Dover Strait. The intended approximate voyage of both vessels in Dover Strait were as charted above. Master, second officer and third officer were on the bridge second officer had a con. The vessel was in hand steering and on a course of 042 degree at a speed of 15 knots. Upper was offset and at 12 nautical miles range scale. Second officer called the Dover Coast Guard reporting that, just to inform you that in about 10 minutes I will be a beam of the MPC boy and we are going to cross the sea lane. Speed increased after this for faster crossing, the course was progressively adjusted from 042 degree to 025 degree, and the second officer advised the master that he wanted to start to cross the TSS as Costa Atlantica would safely pass ahead of MSC Serena and Grand Neptune. Trial maneuver carried out prior to this maneuver, however, no time delay was entered and determined that MCS Serena would have had 0.87 nautical miles CPA in 13.5 minutes H continued altering to port to pass ahead of Grand Neptune. Two further trial maneuvers were carried out, and again no time delay was entered. MSC Serena was 5.6 nautical miles and Grand Neptune 7.8 nautical miles away. Costa Atlantica entered the SW traffic lane. The ship had a pilot on board. The course of the vessel was 216 degree at this point as having altered from 225 degree with a speed of 17 knots. Ship was on autopilot and helmsman was dedicated for lookout duties. There was a ship ahead, MSC Serena, at 1.7 nautical miles with a speed of 18 knots. Ship altered course to 230 degree in accordance with her passage plan and a target, Costa Atlantica, was acquired by radar at 5 nautical miles. The ARPA alarm sounded warning the bridge team of a dangerous target. Costa Atlantica was now 2.89 nautical miles away, with a CPA of 0.21 nautical miles in 5.12 minutes. Pilot attempted to call Costa Atlantica on VHF Channel 16. No reply was heard. Hand steering engaged and starboard 10 degree ordered. The pilot called over Coast Guard to find out the intention of Costa Atlantica. He is on a collision course with me. He should pass around my stern. He is determined to cross my bow at zero. Dover Coast Guard, Grand Neptune and Costa Atlantica exchanged information, and Costa Atlantica transmitted, Yes, we are clear, I am passing you at zero pause, zero force the pilot ordered the helm to harder starboard. Costa Atlantica was 1.16 nautical miles away, with a CPA of 0.13 nautical miles in 2.9 minutes informing Costa Atlantica on VHF radio, you are the giveaway vessel. Now I am going harder starboard sir. Harder starboard. Costa Atlantica started a series of course alterations towards the stern of MSC Serena. As Costa Atlantica neared MSC Serena which was now passing clear. Grand Neptune was 2.46 nautical miles on her starboard bow with a CPA of 0.06 nautical miles in 4.4 minutes. Costa Atlantica was still under helm to port, but to increase the rate of turn and the CPA with Grand Neptune, the second officer ordered port 10 when the heading was 002 degree, followed by port 5 and, finally, amidships when the heading was 355 degree. He then gave a series of further orders to continue the vessel's turn to port. Dover Coast Guard called Costa Atlantica requesting she contact Grand Neptune on VHF Channel 16. Second officer stated that is his intention to pass Grand Neptune with a CPA of 0.4 nautical miles. Grand Neptune completed a 360 degree turn to starboard and, as a result of this evasive action, her CPA with Costa Atlantica was 1 nautical miles. Pilot on Grand Neptune correctly assessed that Costa Atlantica was giveaway vessel. 
he was concerned after determination of steady bearing with a passing distance of two cables. Master would have had better opportunity to cross the TSS earlier as it would have allowed crossing ahead of MSC Serena over one nautical mile. Master's decision to use trial maneuver was a reasonable precaution, however, time delay was not used and this has resulted counting the possible CPA wrong after alteration. Neither master nor second officer were familiar with trial maneuver. Pilot made 360 degree alteration as per rule 17, part A, section 2, and, 17 part B, although Costa Atlantica altered her course to port but it was not readily apparent to Grand Neptune. Costa Atlantica did not cross the TSS with right angle to the direction of the traffic flow as per rule 10, part C, of the coal regs. This made Grand Neptune unsure about the intention of Costa Atlantica. Pilot needed to take action when Costa Atlantica did not show clear indication on her intentions. The bridge team on board Costa Atlantica were slow to appreciate the risk of collision with Grand Neptune. The information on which Costa Atlantica's master based his decision to cross the SW lane was inaccurate. It was derived from the results of an ARPA radar trial maneuver in which neither the master nor the OWA were familiar. Bridge team on board Costa Atlantica did not appreciate the possible inaccuracy of ARPA data when maneuvering. So, uh, it's uh, good material for, for the new students because you can see that the experienced guys with the cargo of uh, 2,000 passengers are, are really acting with the, with the small CPA. So, uh, and then when it starts to happen the things and you start to take this VHF in your hands, it's not so good navigation equipment. And you get mixed with this maritime English. So it's the accident scheme is ready. So after every uh, every uh, Welcome to Major Accident a test. Simulation test. The test in this scenario was developed from the accident case between MV Grand Neptune and MV Costa Atlantic. Press next to proceed. We will take the role of officer of watch and respond to the exercises converted from a real accident. This scenario test will include integrated reading, speaking, listening, and writing practices. You are required to use standard marine communication phrases, SMCP, when necessary, <coughs> or local prompts during the test. In the major accident simulation test, you will control each screen changes. You will need to click next button when you finish with each page. You will need to click speak to talk. Click the check your answer to see the feedback as you complete the question. Each question has feedback section at the bottom of the page. This will appear as you press check your answer button. It will indicate whether your answer was correct or wrong with further explanation. This exercise will take be placed when you cross the TSS just before the sunrise. The exercise will take approximately 25 <coughs> minutes. You will need to have basic understanding on the duties of officer of watch. Ooh. This test is to ensure that you are familiar with the duties of who can respond to emergency situation and uses the correct standard maritime communication phrases. <coughs> The ship that you will be navigating now is General Cargo Vessel, 80.95 meters, 25.95 gross tons, service speed is 10.5 knots, has both thrusters and navigational equipment. Wind is northerly with three forces. Sea is slight to moderate. Visibility is good. Occasionally rains with shower. Time is flat. Your voice will be recorded. You may hear a call from other units. The test will start when you click the next button. You are navigation on SW line of traffic separation scheme. What is your responsibility in accordance with COVID rules? So th this kind of uh, teaching material is especially good for, for ARPA course, but it goes well with the radar course even uh, with the bridge team management course, so what are your procedures? 
how you follow it. And of course, you can use it in a general, general operator course as, uh, as thinking that you should listen to radio and uh, act accordingly if somebody is calling you. And of course, when there's a, a Coast Guard taking the uh, tape of this action, so it, later on it's very difficult to explain what happened in that nice night or, or early morning because they have all the conversation, they have all the chip actions on tape. So it, it's not like in old times, you can always make the black look at least grey, but now it's black is black. Look, there's a, there's a chance, of course, to, to guess it right, but it's, it's a minimum. There's, a, as I said, it's 25 minutes and a lot of, lot of these questions. So, uh, uh, and, then, and you give this to over to your students, and next day you, you start to go through it. That, that what, 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 what were your impressions? Especially what I, 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 I liked. They are real cases. You see that the specialist, long time sea history, they are doing these kind of things. So our new officers be like it was in Hill Street Blues. Take care. Be careful out there. So that's the message. Thank you. <laughs>